You want to guess when this thing is valid till on no, this? It's probably only supposed to be five years. So what do you this think? This is in 2019. Yeah. So 2024. What do you think? 2029. What do you think? I'm going to say even crazy. I'm going to say like some 2030 or something. 2030. Uh, how about the year 3000? <laughs> Stick around. Make a sound. There's more dumb people town. Hey, Toddies, welcome to another episode of Dumb People Town. Dumb. Population U. Population Estrada. Chris, Chris Estrada, Estrada is with What's up, us, dude? dude. Thanks for being here, man. Such a fan of yours. Oh, we got to guys. just hang out with you. You did our Tag It show at the yeah, store. Yeah, that was you a lot were, of fun. You were amazing, dude. This guy hit the stage with such energy. You came at the perfect time in the show, and you just crap and fire. Oh, crush city. city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, that was a lot of fun. It audience. was just fun to, it was such a fun show to do, and then for you guys to come up and give us tags, and like. It's, it's collaborative. Really cool. It's a very unique show, and it's very I feel cool. like that's the way you operate in the comedy world, too. Yeah. I mean, look, you have an amazing show on Hulu. Oh, thanks. That is so good, collaborative with so many great yeah. people, but that's kind of your vibe, though. You yeah. like to work with other people. I do. I lo- even writing jokes, like a lot of the comedy comics I came up with occasionally we don't do it as often anymore but we will meet at like a diner and, perfect and we used to put on a timer we used to put on if it was four of us we yeah. do 15 minutes each oh, Amazing. Shit. and then just be like what are you working on what and are you working hear, on hear, hear oh, the that's, ideas. Awesome. that's who and this then, guy is yeah and then we'd be like oh what about this or what if you say it mm-hmm. that direction so it's like I that's love it the essence of that show yeah which That's is kind of the cool. essence of this podcast, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. we all have a steering wheel. We're we can coming. all go driving. And the world it. is dumber, and we have stories, and Dan's going to get uh, into yeah. it. Ready? Yes. yes. Do one. This was sent in by Brew Pounder, at Brew Pounder. Thanks, bud. Thanks so much for sending Or it C-C-H. could be a woman. I don't know. It's, uh, CCH you know. Pounder. Couple <laughs> on first date breaks into church to play piano. It's is a great that first date. Hey, that's a... You're either like having a wild, yeah. insane night, or you're like the most wholesome criminals. Or your boyfriend's Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> or Julio Iglesias. Yeah. And he's like, I'll Julio do it. Iglesias. He's That's like, I'll, it. no, but Billy Joel, he's like, I'll do it, I'll do it, but I'm only playing River of Dreams. <laughs> yeah. Only yeah. playing yeah. River of Dreams. That's not a good town. Yeah, Easter Alexa. <laughs> Boo. I'm one angry young man. <laughs> what a date. I, I mean, whose idea was that? Henderson that, that's a dude idea. That's a dude idea. <laughs> that's a dude idea. Because there's no exit strategy. No, no. So no, no your woman is in. like, hey, what are we doing tonight? Do you want to break into this yeah. church and yeah. do what? Play that's piano. Deep cut for Sklar fans. This is, takes place in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Henderson. WKRN. A couple's first date in Hendersonville, Tennessee turned into a church burglary and then a trip to jail. By the way, church burglar is a yeah. great, like, like indie Evil. rock band. Yeah, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Scott. Ska band, Ska Ska church band. burglar, the burglar. Dun, 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 dun. the burglar really. You can hear that bass <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the yeah. horns. Yeah, a lot of bass driven, a lot of horns. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dun, 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 a lot of checkered vans. Yes, a lot of lot checkered vans. Can I ask you this a genuine question? Yeah. Do you think ska will ever come back? Totally. I, into mainstream I know on some level it'll never in the way away. that it used to be that like real big fish ska yeah, yeah. real I think, big fish I think, gold it, finger. I think it will you think it will I so the will. fun gold of finger the, real big fish right, the fun mighty of, mighty boss tones mighty mighty boss tones, tones. Uh, great that, song that great song writers the impression that I get that yeah, song yeah, phenomenal song. and they had a guy phenomenal. who just danced in yeah. the band he yeah. didn't sing he didn't play he was skanking just guy skanking on stage man I love that mustard plug there Mustard is, plug, that's right. Yeah. So Aquabats. Like, bats. Could you argue that? Could you argue that Sublime bridged the gap yes. between ska and reggae? Well, and I mean, rock. no doubt and in rock. Sublime. Were ska, in the no doubt is a ska band, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think Sublime really bridged that. I think Sublime was the one that you're like. It was the cool one, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, like, well, I mean, Long, from Long Beach, Long, Long Beach, Beach, drugs, drugs. Dog, you got a yeah. dog running around. Down yeah. the <laughs> They were great. Okay. Uh, turned into a, a church burglar. That's right. Police in Hendersonville said the two people were on a first date when they broke into the Indian Lake Peninsula Church at around what time Thursday morning? Real mm. quick. When do you think they're doing this? They're on a date. On a Thursday. Breaking into a church on a Thursday. Two well, in the morning. Two, two a.m. Two a.m. Two a.m. What do you think? I like to imagine that they got hammered mm-hmm. and they went. Sunday morning thinking it was Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Where is everybody? Yeah. You guys here. are on dates too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's dressed so nice. Yeah. Uh, did everybody guess? I'll just uh, I didn't guess. I think, uh, this, I think this happened at 4 in the morning. They'd broken around 12.50 a.m. Wow. Okay. okay. Thursday Still morning. part of the night. The couple confessed to the crime, police said, claiming they broke into the church because they wanted to play the piano and thought a church might have one they could use. It's that good th- checks out. It's good thinking. That logic checks out. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Here's what he said. I want to get you somewhere where you can 
mess with my organ. She didn't understand. <laughs> and now they're in a church and yeah, now yeah. they're playing the church now, organ. Yeah. It's like, this isn't what I had in mind. Uh, Surveillance. So a Christian bad boy. Yeah. yeah. Like a youth pastor yeah. gone wild. Yes. Hey, did you see that documentary? About the crazy. <laughs> oh, the cra- that's the Oh, I just thought Is if there you one? guys have watched Youth Pastors Gone Wild. No. no. Hillsong, the Hillsong, Hillsong documentary. Have yeah, you seen that yeah. yet? Have no, you seen I haven't. That? Yes. Oh, I mean, it's a crazy. He was like the rock star. He was like a rock Justin star. Justin Bieber's oh, pastor. Like, yes, I've heard of this guy. Okay, you know that yeah. guy. And he and was like, like his crazy downfall. But then his kind of, it's an interesting, it's a crazy. And they used him and he enjoyed it. Oh, they used him in such a bad way. Those Australians who were like part of the old surveillance footage from outside the church shows the two pulling up to the church in a sometimes you just know things about people based Suzuki on what they Samurai. drive 2004 Ford Mustang they're oh, oh shit all right so Almost glory like days old yeah Ford Mustang souped up yeah just put new just put oh for- Siri's talking to me <laughs> the male can be seen with a surprise smile on his face when they try the door and find it unlocked okay the, I don't want to blame the victim here, but you, yeah. I know you're a church. Yeah. You still have to lock the door. Lock the doors. Right? Right. Lock the doors. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So do, do you remember when the f- crazy floods, obviously the floods happened in, uh, was in Houston. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hurricane and Henry. Her, and Joel Osteen. Joel Osteen, who Didn't like his mega church. Mega church. Which took over, seats. which yeah. they met, met Houston, where the Rockets used to play that's basketball. Right. Yeah. That's right. So we, and we went up to it to like see this mega church. They would not take in any. Yeah. I'm like, this is the point at which you allow people to sleep. That's in what a the, church is for. You yeah. set up. People houses. lost their houses. This is Sanctuary. an arena. And then there was like a dude like Max, the mattress king. He stepped dude, in. He stepped in. I knew a comic from Houston really funny guy named Barry Labanac mm-hmm. and he has a joke about that how Osteen didn't step in but the Mattress King did yeah it's yeah. right <laughs> like, yeah, it's <laughs> right now who do you believe in yeah. right. right the Mattress King the yeah. Mattress King Always shout out Mattress King. King yeah uh, after entering the church they stayed to play the piano for how many minutes how long do you think they were in there friends 45 minutes what okay. do you think Chris? I'm gonna say 30 okay I think 120 minutes one of you is exactly right mm-hmm. they were in there for 30 minutes there you yeah. go both anyway. subjects admitted to detectives that they were looking for a piano to play because they both play the piano. They knew churches had pianos, so they were looking for an unlocked church to play a piano. Just say you're drunk. How many yeah. times? Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, how drunk are they? Just You know how drunk they are by the amount of times they say piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> they say for piano, a piano three times. No, four times. I they say piano, piano four times Dan, in that quote. We're looking for a place at a piano. He plays piano. He I play piano. piano. I play piano. Churches, Don't you play churches churches piano? Just have pianos. Tell yeah. them that you play piano. Piano. So we wanted to find a church to have. A p- oh, you don't get it. A piano. piano. <laughs> Hilarious. So, but you're right. They they need to lock their doors. I'm just saying overnight. Okay. Yeah. Like you are sure you can open. Don't be it so in, trusting. Right. No. This is all uh, said by detectives. This is what I want to say to churches: be more cynical. Stephen Fry yeah. of the Hendersonville Police. No Police in Hendersonville, Tennessee, said the couple admitted to quote acting dumb. Mm-hmm. Police Thank said you. the two uh, also stole four Bibles and two drumsticks when they left. I'm hoping ice cream. I know I it's mean, not, yeah. but I want no, it. No, do you want so it to be bad. a little ice cream? The cone with the nuts yeah. and the chocolate? Yes. Yeah. But you get down to the end, it's just Four Bibles. I mean, two Damn. Bibles? Yeah, how many Bibles do you need? Four Bibles. And I what I would, would just say cover is, it for we two. weren't stealing these, we were borrowing these, yeah. and we just well, wanted to spread the good word. Well, so... We a family friend of ours owned the Christian bookstore Glory B, mm-hmm. uh, R.I.P. Glory B. Glory B. And if they ever had someone in there that they thought were shoplifting or like stealing Bibles, they just let them. Yeah, mm-hmm. give it because they were like, if that person needs this religion or feels a place that that's what they want to believe in, we're gonna like arrest them for wanting to Insane. like be no. Christian. Did you go to church it, as a kid? Uh, we grew up like Catholic, but it, mm-hmm. my mom was like. Growing up, my mom was like, we're poor. We have to work. We don't need to go to church. Okay. <laughs> we need the hours. We need the hours. <laughs> we need the, so we need the some, hours. The Valley? You grew up in the no, Valley? No, grew up in, it, in South Central. South Central. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. right. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. But uh, this this is like the good natured version of like those black uh, black metal kids. Do you, mm-hmm. do you know these in yeah. Sweden? Yeah. And Wait, Norway, no, I don't know this Oh, these all. like heavy metal black metal mm-hmm. kids. That's like, right. I know. They were into like black metal. They were burning churches in the 90s. Yeah. Oh, this sounds familiar. Yeah, it, they made a movie of it called okay. Lords of Chaos. It was a documentary too. Yeah, this is the very good-natured version. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're that. like, what? Yeah. We're just playing it. I mean, we just, we just really we what just they're move do- the drum kit around. Okay, so the drumsticks is the worst part about this. The whole Bibles. Thing. That's going to piss Bible. off. No, the uh, Bible. That's going to piss off a seventy-year-old man in about right. eight hours. I put them in the uh-huh. cubby hole. I know yeah. they are. <laughs> 
<laughs> they steal four Bibles and two drumsticks. The surveillance video shows the female picking up a church collection plate. Police say she took it as a souvenir. Okay. All right. That you should not be taking. No, the God. church collection plate. No. Yeah, leave that. They're, they're also heard, off of that thing. They're also heard on surveillance camera talking about their shock at discovering a piano. Based on what you said, <laughs> you why said are you, you shocked? Were, yeah. oh, oh my God, God. babe, babe. You literally, yeah. here it is. This is the exchange. Also, they were wasted. wasted. They were can wasted. I remind you, this is a first date. First date. Yes. First date. Blind date, do you your think? Family, your family into Christmas? <laughs> 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 you know, the couple that gets arrested together stays, stays together. together. Forever. That's a great well, Right point. up until one gets taken to booking and the yes. other is. Yeah. 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 Like, until, they, until they throw each other under yeah. the bus in yeah. the interrogation. Uh, here's the exchange from the female. I found a piano. This is what they said on the camera. I'm so shocked. We found one at the first church. I know, right? Are there, and there are so many more churches I was ready to go to. Oh my God. By the way, I know, right? Is I, you, we've all said, I know, know, right? right? Is this guy being like, are we going to get together? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this going to happen? They're just like, I found a piano. I'm so (laughs) shy. They're drunk. (laughs) Yeah. 2004 Mustang. You know, they peeled in. What did they play? That's what I want to know. What song? Oh, I would love to know. I would love to know the songs they played. Brendan and Andy with the regular (laughs) steadies in the kitchen. Or Meatloaf. Meatloaf would be great. Right? Home, sweet home. That's how much I feel. The church pastor discovered the break in that morning and called the police detectives and patrol officers worked to identify the suspects using surveillance footage police were able to identify the females 2004 mustang hey oh, really cool. painting it that way Not a bad girl they quickly right? found both suspects from there the two later confessed and surrendered the stolen the stolen church items they quote this is from uh, detective fry they just admitted it was dumb probably should not have done it they knew it was a mistake inherently they did not apologize and you were right the first date dynamic of like yeah i guess i'll get you. yeah this is what sure, you're into right? like yeah, i mean yeah. Yeah. i don't want to be diamond the in the rough who, maybe right yeah um indian lake peninsula church administrative pastor drew Altum said he hopes the two people at least learned something from their actions i would tell them don't let this incident define you Adam said he's grateful for the police for the quick response. I will ask you guys this. How old mm. is the couple? They are the same age. Okay, Ooh. same age. Are you going uh, one, you know, both are recently divorced, trying to live it up. Or they're 2004 young. Mustang. 2004 are they young Mustang, and dumb? And it's hers and, and it's she hers drove. And she drove. Or did she say to him, you can drive this if you want. Right. But she say, I have cataracts. I, <laughs> I'll steer. You tell yeah, me what, what color she, the light is. Okay. Is so how old? There's a lot of questions here. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say 42. 42, 42 years old. That's good, man. That's a good one. I'm going to say 26. 26? 54. 54? Yeah. We got out of story one Second on this before I hand it over to Jason. When I come back, I will tell you what I'm up to. And we'll hear what Chris Estrada is up to as well. But I can tell you guys that the couple who steal drumsticks, collection plates, four Bibles, Shocked that they found a piano when that's what they were looking for crushed, on a first day. Crushed a version right. of Allentown. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. R. 20 years old. Oh, oh my I God. Almost, oh. Dan, I almost the said 19 kid, years so old. So young. The the kids. So young. The Chris kids. and I went in the opposite. All right, I we're going to take a break. We'll come back and find out what Dan's doing and what Chris is doing. It's Dumb People Town with the great Chris Estrada. We'll be right back. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey guys, welcome back to welcome the show. Yes, yes. Uh, before we get into how you can follow Chris, mm-hmm. and we're going to talk a lot about this fool. Uh, Dan, tell us when people can see you. You got sure. stuff coming out. Yes. You got the wine, wine uh, I think in February, I should be announcing it soon if I haven't already, but go to danielvankirk.com. I'm going to be doing a weekend in uh, D.C. Yep, yep. And then I have other dates that I will be doing through March and April. Pacific Northwest might be going to uh, Hawaii, do uh, um, Waikiki, and then do Kauai. Nice. So, Dan, you're Everything's up at DanielVankirk.com. The official pronunciations of those. Waikiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waikiki. Yeah. Uh, I will be uh, doing shows everywhere leading up to the special, which I think is going to drop in April, the Rose Gold Hour. So you'll still have a chance to see that. And I'm probably forgetting stuff. But if you go there, you'll see my brand new website. Thanks to Green IV Collective. I just want to shout out a good townie who said, I'll fix your website I for you. I love it. Her name's Aaron. She's awesome. I so, love it. Uh, yeah. Chris Estrada is with us. And if you haven't seen this fool... And this fool. Uh, <laughs> Do you get that brought up all the time? You're going to love this fool. And yeah. And yeah. this next fool, he's yeah, on the yeah, show. Yeah, this fool on Hulu. So here's what I love yeah. about it as a person who didn't grow up. In yeah. that it like to me as I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, this shares a lot of really great stuff with Reservation Dogs, which yeah, I love yeah. too. I feel like those shows are very hand in hand. But I'm like, I love that this is in a uh, 
culture and sort of the way you were brought up that I was not, and yet I have full access to it. That's yeah, the we try to it. make it so we try to not make it too referential in a way. We try mm-hmm. to make it like incredibly specific, but yes. in a way that like the problems are as universal as anything else. Completely you know? achieves and that. Somebody like yeah. doing with Frankie, who's so good at that sort of style as well. Yeah. For, like the dress up gang makes yes. the biggest things out of the smallest, smallest incidents. Things. Yeah. Yes. Smallest yeah. incidents. And finding that nuance in relationship and everything else. Yeah. Because when you, you know, this is sort of happens with Chicago, you say Chicago or you say South Central, people have these first like thoughts Reactions, about it. Yeah. And to go like, no, this is about relationship and about people. It's not, yeah. it's, it's life here and yeah. growing up here and perceived notions of who people are or yeah. what they should be yeah we we were really inspired by the movie friday do you guys remember yes. Yes. friday yes. and how much of a like kind of like you didn't have to be from that world to really no. like enjoy that 100%. movie percent and the way we like pitched it was always like friday but directed by the coen brothers yeah so we're, yes. like, we can make the show a little offbeat and yeah. just like more cinematic and it's beautifully weird. done man. Thanks, man. I, I truly it's like if you're thinking and i know people certainly as you go into the break mm-hmm. if people don't know the show already if you're not on it like you get on just it binge and watch the whole damn thing yes yeah. and catch up some time around the holiday are you yeah. guys making more what's the story uh, we're waiting here okay we're, we got uh, we can do this you yeah. guys we yeah. can make this happen so everyone watch it and, just, and let hulu know that more needs to be made just yeah because. power of literally just at and then at company hulu. For this, this show is amazing. Yeah. This show Loving needs this to go fool. on. Yeah. It, it really goes a long way. Because really they expect does, yeah. us to say it. Yeah, they expect us to say it. They, yeah. Of course, they're going right. to be like, of course you want it right. to happen. Right. I always <laughs> say one audience member is the equivalent of 10 creative people. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. In terms of like... In terms of what just the, saying, yes. hey, I want to see this. Because yeah. it's Did, indicative of like an audience. Yes. You know? Did yeah. you get that from people who just, you know, fans who found the show and found you and they're like, oh my God, you just you totally captured my experience or you yeah were- i get a lot of people you know it's so funny i get random people who i wouldn't expect like i got a message from this guy who was like i'm polish i moved here to the states when i was like in my teens and my mom's a janitor mm-hmm. and we have an episode where the mom character steals toilet paper from her job yes. such a great episode and she was like he he was telling me he goes i really relate to it because like my mom was a janitor and she stole cleaning supplies from her job sure, right. toilet paper all the time so it just like You'd be surprised who it resonates with. Yeah, the more you know? personal it is, the broader yeah. it is. Yeah, so, yeah, I always get really nice, like, people always, like, it really resonates with me, all types of people. So I love it. Oh, Again, this fool, yeah. we grew up as Jews in St. Louis, and I'm, like, watching this show, and I'm like, man, I get everything that's going on right. here. That, that I makes fully me connect with it. And then, of course, you have, like, crazy character, like Frankie's also, character that is, like, yeah. unique, and you haven't seen it before. It's also yeah. okay to be like, this is a world I don't know. They're right. sharing so information to me about these relationships. I mean, that's what I feel when I watch, like, Rami. Like, yes. yes. I know. That's a great sh- That's a perfect example of a world that I don't know. That, and I'm like, yeah, this is great. Even the British office when the first British yeah. office came out and they're like making fun of a town nearby like Slough oh. and I'm like yes that's right. or there that's where they are they make fun of the next town yeah. I'm like yeah like I like I don't know any of these references but I yeah. get what they're saying but I get it because I've done that of right yeah. we, there is a there is a that town in our life yes. Yes, exactly. I love it it's all right this fool okay. check it out anything else where people can see you live uh, stuff and whatnot I'm gonna be at American Comedy Co in San Diego great oh, club uh, December 21st to the 23rd so nice. right before Christmas yeah nice. there you go there's yeah. your Christmas present down there San yeah. Diego go see him and I'm sure those shows will sell out, so get your tickets yeah. now. Love it. All right. This was sent in by Carlene McDermott. Nice. At She, she Be Carlene. Carlene. She Wonderful. Be Carlene. Here's the headline. Court spectator jailed for laughing at jury from gallery during, and I won't tell you how big the uh, the price was, during a tax trial. So, wait, this guy in the gallery. gallery. Yeah. Why is it called peanut gallery? That is... That, that, Supposedly racist. Really racist, actually. Right? Really? Yes. No way. We're not supposed to say peanut gallery anymore. What is it? How, what do we know? I think it maybe had to do with, I don't know, so I don't want to speak oh, out okay. of school, but I definitely think it's like. I'll look um, into it. Thinking slave, peanut farmer type uh, of a thing. That really? Yeah. yeah. So we can't say peanut gallery. We can't say gallery. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. not. So say this, 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 like if I go, if I, okay, this get a jury, this fool, ju- this fool is up jury in- duty summons, you're like, as comedians and people, we yeah. cr- our creative time, we're like, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. But they're it, not even the jury, right? I know. This, this is just someone the gallery the, laughing at the people in the jury, and it's making people uncomfortable, so the person in the gallery gets jailed. There are people who just go to watch court. 
It's very. If I'm they in are the odd. jury and you're looking at people out in the court, you're yeah. like, "What are you doing, man? How boring is your life?" I Thank mean, you. You can just I watch tell Judge, you Judge Judy, <laughs> right. Judge Mathis, right? You like, can laugh. I all will you tell want. you though, there's so many Judge Mills Lane. When we caught shoplifters, um, yeah. when I worked at Marshall Fields, you'd have to go to court. You know? As oh, to, like, did, were you witness? lost prevention? Yes. yes. Oh, n- I love lost prevention people. <laughs> I wrote nobody a whole. I've written a whole pilot about it, dude. Nobody takes their job more serious. This is job prevention. Crux of my pilot because I was just in college, but they were all waiting to be Chicago police officers. Uh, exactly. This is stepping stone. Th- this is their nom. Get this guy to executive produce that pilot and it gets made. <laughs> I worked at JCPenney and I worked at a department right under loss Lost prevention Man. and we had to check in employees' bags yes, and whatnot. Yes. But loss prevention people they, serious. Serious, dude. And serious. I, that's why I got fired. Around. I heard a story one time where this one guy <laughs> caught this guy and he was, you want to do this shit here? You take that to the other town. Or it's like, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Yeah. He so had like our loss prevention pride. is better yeah. than theirs. He had civic pride yeah. wrapped into his job. Lost it was a guy, I think he worked in Montebello, uh-huh. and he goes, you want to do this shit in Montebello? You take that shit to East LA. We don't do that here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Kills oh, me. Oh, man. I love God. it. All right, here we go. But, but uh, you have to like, so anyway, yeah. I was just saying, there, yeah. you, there was some times where you'd sit there and be like, this is a show for free. Yeah. I and mean, there was some crazy shit that happens. But how loud is your laugh? We've all experienced yeah. somebody, especially if you're shooting a special, where you're like, yeah. I, you, you can't laugh. Like yeah. It's oh, too yeah. As a comedian, too- you've gotten those laughs where you go, God, your laugh is so annoying. I wish you didn't find me funny. Right. Yes. <laughs> I wish you so how, something. Or you're all over dude, my this special. This is Robert De Niro and Cape Fear. That's yeah. kind of the level of laughter. So it right. can't be once, right? No, no. And it has to be sinister Cigar. and pointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the movie theater. Oh, that's no. so weird. All right. Ugh. A man spotted, of course it's a man, yeah. of course. Who was spotted woman. laughing at the jury during a complex, I won't tell you how much this tax fraud trial, okay. has been jailed for contempt of court. Construction worker Michael Moynihan, not going to tell you his age, are you there? was seen pointing at the jurors and chuckling to a friend as Judge Stephen Everett was finishing his summing up of 14 weeks of evidence at Chester Crown Court. So he's just March. roasting the jury to yeah. his buddy. That's Listen, fun to him. Two jurors who saw Moynihan pointing at them were said to be obviously affected. Of course. And were looking down at their feet as they later filed in and out of the jury box. Well, because he was making fun of their feet? I so maybe know. it's like intimidating or something. Like you can't. Yeah. He's the worst intimidator in the world. The pers- No one else is supposed to know you're intimidating right. this person. That's right. So like, be on the very like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then there are both people look around and you go. Like that, yeah, you yeah. don't do it. Just a little laugh I, out loud. I like that he points at them and he does this. <laughs> <laughs> the finger eyeglasses. Look at these nerds uh-huh. here. You want one of these? Uh, What's up, nerd? Uh, if I may, Your Honor. <laughs> Moynihan was asked to leave the courtroom by staff, but he initially refused to go and okay. then declined to give up his name. All right, bro. If uh, someone's like, you're bothering the jurors, get out of here. And if he's like, oh, sorry. Oh, I didn't sorry. To, I'm, I'm sorry. Gone. I was just laughing with my then friend. Then he doesn't go to jail, right, Dan? This is the thing I've talked about from when not, uh, the years working door in downtown At bars, LA, yes. Yeah. I used to think some guys wanted to fight until I realized that some men want, want to, to lose a fight. Right. They want to some get men want oh, to get dude, punched in the there's face. There's exact. I have a buddy like this. Yeah. And then, because I don't think he grew up like in a way that he's been punched in the face before right. oh, and he wants the, that I, I go dude you, you're you being don't self-destructive want this. Yes. you don't want this right. I go you know what because now it's kind of selfish of you because now you're putting this bouncer in a situation yes. where he might get in trouble because you want to be a martyr right right. 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 Or like somebody who can't swim jumping in the water yes, like we talked about the other day because now someone has to save you and they might drink I yep. feel like this guy went to court to get arrested. arrested yeah. yeah, just like he went to guy goes to a bar to get. He's like, I'm a punched. bad guy. I deserve to be behind bars. What can I do? God, I'm I wish laugh. he was that self aware. It's just probably they're so stupid. No, like, that Dan's right. Because listen, the judge asked him to leave immediately. He answered back, "You ought to be patient." What does that to mean? The judge? Oh my! <laughs> you you ought to be patient. What does that mean? Oh, this is like man. the worst episode of Impractical Jokers. <laughs> right. Yeah. So like Sal is in his ear, ear yeah. being like, tell, tell, tell him Say you want to Say something that doesn't make sense. Quick. You know, at first, at first hearing that story, I was like, you know what? Maybe they're being too hard on this. This guy's an asshole. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. This guy's an asshole. Yeah. Deserves what he gets. He's, he's, yeah, this yeah, is the prequel deserves, to 60 yeah. Days In. All right. So he was subsequent, <laughs> subsequently arrested, and it was discover, discovered that he had been at the court for a different trial over unrelated public orders matter. So this guy is a public So maybe disturbing. he's pissed off about his thing. And right. he's now yeah. going to disrupt this other court. Now, if I'm the two jurors who he's laughing at, 
I then go to his trial yes. and laugh at him. Yeah. Well, here, you want to hear, you want to kind or of. Or I just, I don't laugh at him. I just show up in his gallery front row and just be like, stare at him. Yeah. yeah. All right, nodding. Do you want to be confused about how you feel about this guy? Yeah. yeah. Moynihan of Ellesmere Port, Cheshire, who lost his left leg in an accident in 2021. Now I'm on his side. <laughs> uh, Come yeah. on. Was well, jailed for 21 side. days after being found guilty of contempt of court. Now I'm upset with him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Everett said that. This, the, this happens a lot. Just because life did you bad, you don't get to be an asshole. You lost a lot. Lost and you a know leg, what? you're going to lose a court he case. He didn't have a temper. leg to stand on in that trial. <laughs> oh. Come on. Guys, that's Come a show, guys, folks. Thank nice. you so no, much. Right. We'll be like here all week. Like getting any better. <laughs> he was really leaning in. We right. won't talk. He only had one leg to stand on. <laughs> that's right. He only had one leg to stand on. <laughs> Everett said that if the jury members. He was hopping mad. Oh, come on, Everett man. said that if uh, the jury members had asked themselves why he had been pointing and laughing at them, it could have led to the trial being abandoned. Right. He described Moynihan's actions as, quote, threatening and arrogant. The trial itself was part of a criminal proceeding that had been going on for how many years? Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Six. Six years from Daniel. What I'm going to say two. Two. Twelve years. The, Twelve your, years of your trial. Your closest, Randy. Ten years. Wow. Oh. That it cost the taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. The judge told Moynihan, it's important that everybody understands that the court. These people have been on jury duty for is, ten years. It's a place where people have to pay. Oh, my God. Imagine. Oh, my God. Damn. 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 That's, a, that's a weird sketch. What do you do? Sitcom. Well, for the past decade, I've been a juror. Yeah. I mean, you could do ten seasons of that sitcom. <laughs> the juror. Juror it's like the office, yeah. but it's jury duty. Juror, jury duty. number three. If you do not believe in, uh, how great was that joke in, uh, in jury duty, the no, show. No, no. In uh, have you seen that show by the way? Jury duty. Oh yeah, that was James great. Marsden. No, I mean, yeah. brilliant. Phenomenal. Marsden's so good. So Another good. Hulu show. Uh, watch them both. Uh, no, but the, uh, the 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 what was the the joke? The name of the show that she, the movie she was doing on Thirty Rock. The rural, oh, the rural, rural juror. juror. Yeah, the rural, rural, the rural yeah. juror. The rural, the rural, the rural juror. juror. It's, it's, that joke it's will never great. not be funny. It Fox always killed me. That okay, so you've been in a writer's room. So yeah. you're in a writer's room, and there are the jokes that like you make the writers go crazy. We were crazy. just in a writer's yeah. room this whole last couple of weeks, and there are jokes that just make you crazy. And you have to be smart enough to know that like this is just for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The rural juror is a joke that I thought probably cracked Killed the, the room, writer's room up, room. and it made it in, and we all I it. I think about it, it. You, yes. like weekly. I think about the that rural joke. Yeah. It's so brilliant. Right. So the ju- it's in, judge on one hand, it's important that everyone understands that the court is a place where people have to behave. Of yes, course, it's mm-hmm. a courtroom. If people do Decorum. not behave in court. This isn't we're a, heading down. Uh, this isn't an Aldi to anarchy and that's the problem that's I found your behavior threatening and arrogant it wasn't just rude it was way beyond that and what concerned me most it was threatening to the jur- jury and yes, I see that they saw that you can't do this stuff you know what I'm com- this is the joker it's right? the joker it this is. is Joaquin Phoenix this, as the joker this is a, a joker without makeup All right. yeah, so same want, level of comedy too. so yeah. you want to hear someone more awful than that I do Moynihan's counsel his lawyer oh god K Driver She's like a K ma- driver, not K mini driver, driver. K not driver, K driver. Every kid begins with K driver. Her client has been on painkillers and that made him too relaxed. <laughs> I had a feeling this. I was like this. He might be, this is like a guy with diabetes. Maybe he medication had low sugar, issue, medication right. issue. Right. He took the wrong medication. Yeah. Like the woman on the plane but was too like, relax oh, no, doesn't work. Real. But here's yeah. where it continues. Adding that he believed the person on the jury was someone he had gone to school with and pointed him out to his friend. That motherfucker ain't real. Yeah. Remember that woman yeah. on the plane? Oh, so yeah. like this, I, I, that's what she's claiming. This is one of those moments. Kid so driver. driver a driver said Moynihan apologizes for his language and behavior, adding he realizes now that he that could be very once intimidating. Once he realized that a punishment, this is your friend. Once he yeah. realized that he could get actually punched in the face, once a fist came close to him, he's like, Never mind. He's like I don't want this anymore. Yeah, I don't want yeah. this anymore. All right, here yeah. it is. Despite fears that the trial might have to be abandoned due to them feeling intimidated, the panel later convicted two men, including the mastermind of a fake designer clothing scam oh. who ran one of the UK's so largest ever carousel tax frauds i want to find i want you to tell me how number much? one how much was the case the tax fried tax, tax fraud, fraud case in pounds in pounds how we much was the we, case we're gonna have for? to buy a converter for this well yeah, i mean whatever yeah. but i say 10 million pounds uh, i was gonna say 10 million pounds there you go you yeah. all right they can both say 10 what do you say 65 million pounds. How about 150 million pounds? That's so many pounds. Oh, and we, and we're going to get out of here on this before we toss it to Rand. How old is Michael Moynihan? The guy in the construction in the gallery. There is was, no way this guy's under 50. A construction no, yeah. worker. I'm going to say 54. Who lost a leg. 
61. 54, 61. 41. 41. Get your answers in, and then Randy will do a little tease on... Uh, story number three. The story number... Three. Oh, no, I have a story number three. For no, it's me. No, cause no, the, you're in a different doc because... Okay. We oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, guess how old? 31 years old. Oh, 31 young. years old. Man. Young. That guy's lived a life. Yeah, he's 31 to Missing lose. a leg? Yeah. Construction worker yeah. lost his leg intimidating Arrested people going to jail. Yeah. 31. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going it's on. It's a crazy story in yeah. court. Wild. Story number two down. Chris Estrada is with us. His show, This Fool, is unbelievable on Hulu. You guys should be watching and then go check him out live wherever you can. Follow him on social media. We'll come back and awesome. uh, do Tell story what three. we have going on on story three. It's Dumb People Town with Chris Estrada. We'll be right back. Stick around. Make a sound. There's more Dumb People Town. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Before we get into segment three, I want to remind people, not sure exactly when this drops, but Randy and I, beginning of the new year. Beginning of the year, January 4th, we're going to be in Portland at Helium. I love that club. One night one only. Night, one show. Night. Let's one, fill it out. Let's go Portland. Let's, let's sell it out. It. Let's sell it out. And then the next night, we're at the Crocodile, the 5th of January. We love that club. It's part of the Wet Seattle. City Comedy Wet Festival. City Are you guys doing AM Northwest when you're in Portland? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Because, Steve? Oh yeah, we might. We should. We absolutely should. Steve we, and Helen? Yes, I love those guys. Uh, we love absolutely should because we're we're getting in the night before and doing a private yeah thing. so then you and i become buddies uh, if you reach I out or i can reach out to him but yeah to please it. we need it because we want to sell so want to sell that out and then uh beginning of uh february we're back in denver at comedy works i'm sure you've been there i love oh yeah comedy i love works that so club. we're amazing. at the south club yeah. which i love too it's both like clubs theater. are amazing amazing. South amazing. And downtown. amazing we had great shows last time want to do the same this time uh mark ridley's comedy castle at the beginning of march and then uh acme in minneapolis at the beginning of april moon tower at the uh, end of april and then we'll see maybe Alaska in May and then future stuff down the line. I really want to nice. get back to the bell house and do a live dumb people town. We just, when do you want to do it? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. On, let's see if we can spring, attach it summer? to something spring or summer. Maybe we'll do it. I love the bell house so much and we'll be back there. And Keenan Thompson said he'd be a part of that one. So I know, that was great. we'll do that. Anyway, good stuff happening. Superscholars.com. You can check all that stuff out. And if this is before Christmas, if it drops, then uh, Daniel Van Kirk and I did a little thing in the Keenan Thompson, uh, Kevin Hart end of the year special on Peacock. That Jay and I back wrote that on. year up 2020. Back that, back year, that year up, up on the 26th. Comes and it'll out. probably just exist on Peacock after that. Oh, you for can watch sure. it whenever you want. Yeah. Great holiday watching. It's a really fun show. Kind of reminds I got to see some of the other stuff. Like it's like early you guys daily have show and segments stuff. and interviews and stuff like that. And it's just a great fun show. Those guys crush Clips it. and jokes and characters and really yeah. fun. Good stuff. All right. right. Shall I jump into this yes. final story? Uh -huh. Sent in by guess who? Carlene McDermott at She Be Carlene. So our fans is the yeah. way to do it, uh, Chris, is our fans can just, we're still on X, still on Twitter, at Sklar Brothers, I'm at thinking, Daniel I'm, Van I'm trying to use threads more. I like threads. I, I needed to get a little bit better with this like search optimization, so that maybe eventually we jump over. Maybe but. we jump over to threads, but right now it's it's on, you just add Daniel Van Kirk, at Sklar Brothers, hashtag Dumb People Town, send us the story. You guys have been doing great. We are so, right. I mean, Far I'm out. like in August right now looking for stories. That's yeah, fun. It's, we have a backlog, but here we go. I'm going to read you the uh, headline. This okay. is just a fun little story. Dutch police arrest, quote, Boris Johnson for drink driving incident, drunk driving incident. Suspect had fake driver's license with the prime minister's photo and date of birth. So this is not Boris Johnson. No. The prime minister. This is someone else claiming to be Boris Johnson trying to get this dude yeah. a DUI. And the My Dutch man. have just uh, elected like the most far right yeah. guy ever. <laughs> so it's like what? A, like I'm sure I they're know. just going to start throwing everybody in jail now. Dutch police arrested a man in a drunk driving incident over the weekend and discovered that his driver's license named him as Boris Johnson. The fake Ukrainian driver's license. Why we got to bring Ukraine into this? Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, they're going what? through a lot. They are really they are going, going through, through a lot. Through Can a lot. we not have mm -hmm. them in like driver's license scams yeah. here? Complete with the former British Prime Minister's picture and correct birth date. So it didn't. When you, did you have dumb? a fake ID growing up? I had a fake ID growing up. Okay, where what was did it say I you were? Got one. it here in L.A. in MacArthur Park. There you go. Yeah. You took it outside. Took the photo How, outside. You, you took were, the photo uh, in an apartment. They had an apartment set up. Oh and God. Then you just, were you, were you, were you were like, you, I'm going to someone's apartment. I don't know what's going to happen to yeah, me. Yeah. Well, if you go down there. And MacArthur, you can get anything in MacArthur That's Park here in can. downtown Los Angeles yeah. over in Westlake. Uh -huh. And you, somebody just, if you kind of walk around, somebody eventually will say in Spanish, they'll go Mikas, which means like fake ID. Amazing. You know? Nice. And I'm like, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. I was like 18 at the time. Of I wanted to get into bars. Like I need did it say you were 21 or did you push it up a couple years or? No, I, I think, I, yeah, I pushed it up to like, it was 24. Okay. okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, nice. I mean that's great. I mean we had an old bit. So when we were one of our first stand up bits, oh, one of our first stand up bits ever. Like some guy built a huge in our fraternity, built a huge board for the Kentucky for a Kentucky driver's license, and we took our picture outside on the roof of the house because he's like the lighting's better outside. We're like. I don't think we should be outside. Yeah, like yeah. what dry? Yeah, sure, you know, should leaves a, be blowing yeah, through the photo? There's a tree in the back. Yeah, right. <laughs> there's a dog catching a frisbee behind <laughs> my head. So I don't think that's normal. That's ridiculous. All right, so the fake Ukrainian driver license had Boris Johnson's picture on it. You either better look like Boris yeah. Johnson. Yeah. Why yeah. wouldn't it be your? About who's dumb here? The person who wanted it or the person who made it? That's or right. is he trying to get Boris Johnson in trouble? Yeah. Picture <laughs> and correct birth date was issued on July uh, 24th. 2019 the date he moved into 10 downing street you know so this is like yeah. he's moved this is the day he moved mm -hmm. in as uk's leader and is it valid until the year you want to guess when this thing is valid till on oh, this it's probably only supposed to be five years so what do you this think is in 2019 yeah so 2024 what do you think 2029 what do you think i'm gonna say even crazy i'm gonna say like some 2030 or something. 2030 uh, how about the year 3000? That's how you know this shit is fake. Is this Conan O'Brien? It's the, the year 3000. All right, police spokesman. I'm not going to get this right. T-H-I-J-S. How would you pronounce that? T-H-I-J-S. J-S? Thiege. 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 Yeah. Thiege said, uh, officers cool investigated the incident shortly after midnight Sunday when a car crashed into a pole near the Emma Bridge in the northern city of Groningen. The car was Gron again. Gron again. Again. <laughs> the the car was abandoned, but the police later told the driver was standing on the bridge. So definitely, this guy's drunk or smoked too much weed. It is Amsterdam. It is, yeah, it yeah, is yeah. Dutch. Okay. Yeah. The person could not identify himself mm. and refused to undertake a breathalyzer test. Damster told him, and this was the ID that he. The Boris Johnson. I, I'm going to be honest. I can't tell if that looks great or it bad. It looks like Boris Johnson. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. does it look like it blends together? Well, like it definitely doesn't look like it was taken in the DMV. No, it looks like yeah. a no. photo taken in Boris Johnson's office. Or yeah. outside. He's like, I out. mean, he's washed well, his, out. Yeah, he always has flyaways. Again, he's very washed. sunny. Yeah. <laughs> he's <laughs> washed out. He's washed out. This image was taken from the Instagram account of the Netherlands Police Grunt. So they put that on there. Uh, Grounding him center on May 1st, 2023. Shows the official holding a Ukrainian driver's license featuring an image of uh, Boris Johnson and ground again after a driver was arrested. The item was recovered from his vehicle. How old is this? Oh, we can get that at the end. From a small town in Zwiedhorn, west of ground again. So this is a Dutch guy mm -hmm. with this driver's license was arrested. What if he looks exactly like I'm like most Dutch people. I have a Ukrainian driver's license. And yeah. it's the of Boris Johnson. Of That's what mine is. Van right? Kirk, but I go with the... The Dutch thing. All right. Yeah. Inside, police found fake driver's license belonging to Boris Johnson. Unfortunately for this person, we, we did not fall for this forgery. This is the police in Groningen yeah. being that's like, a little tongue yeah. cheek. Yeah. I mean, sorry, we didn't. We didn't you think die. that's the police being funny? Yes. Yeah, because of course they. Who? No one's gonna fall for I it. I agree. I yeah. like to imagine this was a 19-year-old wearing a Boris Johnson <laughs> mask <laughs> or yeah, hair. Be the great because he does have like Trumpy and like yeah, messed very, up like, hair. Yeah, he also, hair. A lot of times he kind of looks like Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Very Boris Lloyd. Is that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Police could not say where the forged document was made, but former Russia correspondent Kaizia uh, Hexter, mm -hmm. in a tweet published by the NOS, said that the fake driver's license could easily be bought in tourist shops in Ukraine. Wait, the Russian person is accusing Ukraine of doing this? That's weird. Domstra asked, as far as I'm aware, the real Boris Johnson was not in the Netherlands at the time, oh. as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old? You got to look like your driver's license. Photo. Right. How old was this guy who was trying to be Boris Johnson? Trying to be Boris Johnson, crashed his car into a pole. No, that was his fake his fake driver's license. Mm -hmm. How old is this person? I wonder if he's got a driver's license for when he's like, I'm going to drive drunk. Let me take my drunk driver. Getting a get fake my license Boris. doesn't feel like an old man's game. It doesn't. And it also feels immigrant like. And like you need some sort of. That's why I think this person is young. And I also think just the idea that they didn't look that it was three like the year 3000 3, they're gonna, definitely not checking not dotting the yeah, i's and crossing the t's so to I'm, speak i'm gonna say early 20s are you 22 22, 22. what do you think I'm because go, you really don't need a, a dry i'm gonna go 36 36 okay 27 one of you yeah is one year off so, so now go, you get to go up or down i'll what go do you think? 35 35 what are you gonna go i'll go 23 23 I'm gonna go 28 okay get your answers in townies 
the great Chris Estrada. He'll be back. We love him in Dumb yeah. People Town. He is Come the on. best. This, this fool. fool. Watch this fool. Watch, Watch it. it. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love it so much. Send a message. Tweet out at Hulu. Go Pick see it Dan. DanaVanKirk.com. Go see you. us. SuperSclars.com. See, Super see, see him on the uh, Kevin Hart special. He was hilarious. I appreciate that. This man from Zoodhorn, west of Groningen in the Netherlands, is... 35 years old. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the adjustment. Ah. Hey, we love you guys. Have a good one. If this drops around the holidays, I hope you have a wonderful holidays. And oh shit, we got to get back to work. <laughs> Stick around. Make a sound. There's more dumb people town.